Hey everyone, today I'm going to be telling you guys how to distinguish between Staghorn Sumac and Smooth Sumac. They look very similar sometimes, they're hard to identify, um, but once you know these um, few minor details, you'll be able to distinguish between Staghorn Sumac and Smooth Sumac, and um, neither of them are poisonous, they're both native to the uh, to North America and um, the United States, Canada. So they're they're good plants. They're native plants. They're usually found at least staghorn and smooth sumac are found kind of on like side of highways and things like that. Um, especially staghorn sumac in my area, the Philadelphia area, um, is the more abundant one. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to identify them, and I'll show you guys a few lookalikes and things like that. So I'm going to be using iNaturalist um, to help do this. It's a pretty cool citizen science app that you can help identify plants um, that become research grade for scientists to use. What we're going to be looking for to identify a sumac, a sumac first, um, at least with staghorn and smooth sumac, is we're going to be looking for serrated leaflets. So we're going to be looking for a compound leaf here, as we see, um, one branch with multiple little leaflets coming off the side. But most importantly, we're going to be looking for serrated leaflets, and you can look closely and see that these leaves or these leaflets are serrated, they have kind of a, a toothed edge to them and they're serrated along the entire leaflet. So that's what we're gonna be looking for. Now there are um, look-alikes. So sometimes an Eastern black walnut or a similar species in the Juglans uh, genus can be confused with sumacs. As you can see, they do have serrated leaflets, but they're much more finely serrated, um, have smaller teeth and they're almost a little bit harder to see as you can see along here. Um, then with sumacs, as you can see, they're much more like defined, um, more rigid edges and things to the serrated leaflets. Um, now, uh, staghorn and smooth sumac look pretty much identical except for um, two things that I usually use to identify. Obviously, staghorn sumac, um, it gets its name staghorn from the horns of a stag. They're a little bit velvety, they're um, pubescent, they have little hairs on them in other words. So. Whenever you're trying to identify if it's a staghorn sumac or a smooth sumac, the biggest thing you're going to look for is the pubescence or the hairs here. So if you look at the branches, if you look at the stem, and if you look at the fruit, if they're all pubescent, and you can see these little hairs protruding where my, where my cursor is right now, um, then that's pretty much a dead giveaway for staghorn sumac. And um, the fruit is especially useful. Um, um, this is kind of what a pubescent fruit looks like. Each of these seeds are are hairy themselves, so it's very evidently hairy. This is clearly staghorn sumac, so I'm going to agree with that identification and mark it as fruiting. Um, let's go on to another example here. Again, this is staghorn sumac. We see serrated leaflets. Um, you'll get, like I said, you'll get used to the serration pattern and things like that. We can also see the stem in this one. You can see it's it's hairy, it's velvety, it kind of looks like the, the horns of a deer. Um, again, the fruit is pubescent here. It has hairy, it's little fuzzes, and the branches are as well. Again, this is clearly staghorn sumac. Now let's go over to smooth sumac here. The biggest difference between staghorn and smooth sumac is that smooth sumac obviously has no hair. It doesn't have fuzziness, it's not pubescent. So you'll notice a big difference between the fruits already. Um, each of these little seeds in staghorn sumac had little fuzzes, little fuzz around them. Um, in smooth sumac, it doesn't. That's where it gets its name. It's smooth. Um, so if if the branches, the fruit, and the stem are smooth, then it's smooth sumac. And we can see that the branches here are smooth. They don't have any hair on them. Um, and the stem, which we can't really see in this picture, is also smooth. Um, but you can you can see the inf the the inflorescence I think it's called the thing that holds all these seeds is smooth everything is smooth this is um, smooth sumac and we can look in the bottom right here we can see over here on the right side we can see the serrated leaflets and um, there's also another thing to keep in mind and that's called um, is looking at the ratches or the the space in between leaflets so. Um, we can see that there's no, it's just a regular stem between the leaflets. If you look where my cursor is, circling right here, um, sometimes there's a few species of sumac that have winged ratches. In other words, um, they have like a little almost leaf thing that connects um, the space between the leaflets. So sometimes there will be kind of a, a little leaf here, and I'll show you that right now. Shining sumac is an example of this. Um, 
So Shining Sumac has winged leaflets, or winged rachis. You can see there's a little leaf in between. Shining, or Smooth and Staghorn Sumac do not have winged rachis. So um, this is, is clearly serrated leaflets, no winged rachis. It's smooth, doesn't have hair. Um, so this is clearly Smooth Sumac. So we'll mark that as smooth and mark it as fruiting. This is another example of smooth sumac. Again, we'll, we'll zoom in a little bit. We can see the serration here on the on this leaf. Um, the leaflets here, there's no winged ratchies in between the leaflets. And as we can see, the, um, the fruit is smooth, the seeds are smooth, the branches are smooth. Um, and th this one is clearly smooth sumac. So I'm gonna agree with that one. Add fruiting. Um, also, sometimes it's, it may be a little bit harder to tell um, but generally the stem is green the thing that like where the branches come out of the main stem is green in this one it's not necessarily green but the branches usually are red like they have this reddish color so you you can look for that contrast between the green and the red colors from the stem and the and the, and the branches where the leaflets come off of um, if you can kind of see that then that's a good indication that it's a sumac sometimes um, commonly um, misidentified plants, um, maybe invasives or other natives to the area that kind of look like sumacs won't have this color difference, they won't have this contrast, it'll just all be green or something like that. Um, and yeah, that that's usually a good indication. So um, let's do a little bit more practicing here. So that one's good, staghorn, and that one's good, those are the ones we did. So we'll start here. Um, and, and as you kind of fine-tune your identification skills I mean iNaturalist is like really good for this trying to like become experts at identifying certain plants you can tell from a distance like from this picture it's not the best picture because it's not close up and and you can't really see the pubescence on the branches and things like that but over time you become you become good at seeing things from a distance because people sometimes can't get up close to the plant to identify and things like that um, but this is clearly staghorn sumac because um, especially when the plant is fruiting you can see the the velvety kind of um, hair or fuzz pubescence around each of the seeds from afar um, you can see you can notice um, the difference and and this one definitely uh, the fruit is pubescent we can see hairs coming off of the main stem here and on the branches as well so this one is clearly staghorn sumac um, I'm gonna mark that as fruiting as well and over time, um, you can also learn where staghorn sumac is common to, where it's not common to, and things like that. It looks like it's it's pretty common to the east, eastern U.S. and the Pacific Northwest or the northwestern part of the U.S., um, Canada. And then there's this region in here, I think, in the mountains where it's also pretty common. Um, smooth sumac is 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 less common, um, so it's just a matter of kind of figuring out where these plants are. There's also another lookalike that I mentioned. Shining sumac, and there's another one called prairie flame leaf sumac. Um, these don't have serrated leaflets, um, but they can sometimes look somewhat identical based on the pictures. Prairie flame leaf sumac, um, unless you're really in Texas, you don't have to worry about misidentifying between smooth and staghorn um, when you're trying to identify prairie lame, flame leaf because it usually occurs only in Texas. There are a few other uh, examples. Shining sumac is a little more um, widespread, but um, it, again, it's a pretty dead giveaway when you see the winged ratchies and outside of Texas location, it's usually uh, shining sumac. Um, so yeah, we can we can get rid of those, and then we'll just we'll we'll go through these, and um, I'll help you kind of fine tune your your um, identification. So here's we're we're over to smooth sumac again winged or non-winged ratchies, um, serrated leaflets, uh, sometimes the plant may be, you know, obviously there's a lot of phenotypic diversity, things look different all the time, um, but this is clearly uh, smooth sumac, we don't see any hair, uh, the seeds are smooth. Alright, next one here we have, um, clearly the fruit is not pubescent, uh, the branches aren't pubescent, um, this, the uh, leaflets here are serrated, and uh, there's no winged ratchy. So clearly, again, this is smooth sumac. Okay, so here's an example of um, 
someone who's not really not really sure they even put it in the description they're not sure if this is smooth sumac or not so what do you guys think based on what based on what you've seen in the video so far um, we could clearly kind of rule out staghorn or we can rule out smooth sumac um, although it kind of does look like it um, but but if you if you notice the difference between um, the serration patterns as I mentioned earlier this doesn't really look like um, a sumac it kind of has different looking leaves um, they're a little bit lighter tinted than we're used to seeing they don't have quite the same shape and they're not quite serrated in the same way so this to me doesn't look like a sumac it looks like maybe a walnut um, we'll see what the uh, computer um, iNaturalist computer suggestions suggest I would think it's a walnut yeah so it's it's suggesting an eastern black walnut which is what I think it could also be poison sumac I'm by no means an expert at identifying poison sumac um, so I, I can't be sure um, but I know this is not smooth sumac so it looks like poison sumac has entire leaflets it doesn't look like it has serrated leaflets so <clears throat> I'm actually gonna mark this as even though it's suggesting eastern black walnut I'm just gonna mark it as the genus so I'm gonna leave it as that and then somebody who's more of an expert on walnuts can maybe come in and identify that so that one's not smooth sumac um, and sometimes you know when it when there's no fruit showing it can be a little bit harder to identify it but you can kind of get it over time refine your refine your identification um, that's the one we did here's another one okay so this is misidentified you can see the stem here is is hairy the branches here are hairy as well the leaves are serrated um, so the fruit is also a little bit fuzzy this one I'm gonna actually mark as staghorn sumac because of the hair so I'm going to say pubescent features. And I do believe that smooth sumac and staghorn sumac can hybridize, sometimes producing like intermediate phenotypes um, where you'll have like very minor hair, like very small hair or just kind of very fine pubescence. Um, so sometimes it can mix that up and get a little confusing. That could be the case in this one. It doesn't quite look as fuzzy as the staghorns that we saw before, but it doesn't quite look smooth. So I, I think this looks more like staghorn sumac, that's why I marked it as staghorn. And it's probably more common for the Detroit area as well. So that's all the smooth sumac. We're gonna do the same thing with uh, staghorn. It should be a little bit easier. All right, if we zoom in here, we can see the, the fuzz coming off and you'll, you'll notice it kind of looks white around the edges. Um, in some pictures and that's a good sign that there's hairs on it. Um, we see the fruit here, serrated leaflets, and that's good to go. So that's good. Okay, so this is this is pretty cool actually. Um, this is a variety of staghorn sumac. Um, there's also a variety, a similar variety in smooth sumac. Um, this is called lace leaf or cut leaf sumac. So it has these different looking leaves. You can see um, they're not quite the same shape. They don't have the same like serration pattern. This is a common um, cultivated uh, cultivar or variety that people buy. It's like an oriental kind of look, uh, good looking plant um, that's that's planted to look good. Uh, the leaves are cooler and yeah, people plant this stuff sometimes um, and that's why we might get it in, in locations that we might not otherwise expect like, um, where is this at? Omaha, Nebraska. So um, this is pretty, most definitely um, Staghorn sumac, we can kind of see the pubescence of the fruit from afar. And once you kind of see this cultivar, it's usually staghorn sumac. Uh, um, all right, another example. The, fu uh, the fruit definitely looks pubescent here. Um, let's see if we can find any strong evidence. The picture's kind of blurry, so it's hard to tell. Uh, but that is, that's staghorn sumac. The fruit kind of gives it away. If it was smooth sumac, you would definitely be able to make out the individual seeds from, from this distance. All right, this one we already did, that's staghorn. And uh, this one, again, we can see kind of the white fuzz 
around the edges and uh, the fruit looks pubescent. Let's see what this picture has to offer. Again, we see the pubescence. This is most definitely staghorn. Same thing here. This is staghorn. We see the fuzz. We're going to mark that as staghorn. Fruiting. All right, this one's a little bit tougher to see because it's the lighting is a little bit a little bit off, but we can see the fuzz coming off of the main stem here, the pubescent fruit, and pubescence coming off the branches. You can see little hairs if you look closely. So that's uh, staghorn sumac as well. And I think you guys get the point, but we'll just finish out the category here. I think we already did this one. Yep. Uh, this one again. Serrated leaflets, non-winged ratchies. It is a little bit blurry, but we can still make out the fuzz. This is staghorn sumac, and although they have their location as private, um, it would probably fall into into where it's native to. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Um, hope you learned how to identify between smooth and staghorn sumac. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.